Colon cancer is a type of cancer that starts in your colon, that means large intestine or rectum. Your colon and rectum are the organs that make up the lower portion of your digestive system. Colon cancer typically affects older adults, though it can happen at any age. It usually begins as small, non-cancerous, benign clumps of cells called polyps that form on the inside of the colon. Over time, some of these polyps can become colon cancers. What causes colon cancer? Researchers are still studying the causes of colon cancer. In general, colon cancer begins when healthy cells in the colon develop changes, that means mutations in their DNA. A cell's DNA contains a set of instructions that tell a cell what to do. Healthy cells grow and divide in an orderly way to keep your body functioning normally. But when a cell's DNA is damaged and becomes cancerous, cells continue to divide, even when new cells aren't needed. As the cells accumulate, they form a tumor. With time, the cancer cells can grow to invade and destroy normal tissues nearby. What are the symptoms of colon cancer? In fact, many of the symptoms of colorectal cancer can also be caused by other problems, such as infection, hemorrhoids, irritable bowel syndrome, or inflammatory bowel disease. In many cases, people who have these symptoms do not have cancer, but you should talk to your doctor if you have any of them so the cause can be found and treated. Signs and symptoms of colon cancer include a persistent change in your bowel habits, including diarrhea or constipation or a change in the consistency of your stool, rectal bleeding or blood in your stool, persistent abdominal discomfort such as cramps, gas or pain, a feeling that your bowel doesn't empty completely, weakness or fatigue, unexplained weight loss. If colon cancer spreads to other parts of your body, you may also experience jaundice or yellow eyes and skin, swelling in the hands or feet, breathing difficulties, chronic headaches, blurry vision, bone fractures. Many people with colon cancer experience no symptoms in the early stages of the disease. When symptoms appear, they likely vary depending on the cancer size and location in your large intestine. Doctors recommend that people with an average risk of colon cancer consider colon cancer screening around age 45. But people with an increased risk such as those with a family history of colon cancer, should consider screening sooner. If you have a colon or rectal cancer, treatment depends on which type of cancer it is, how big it is and whether it has spread. Treatment may include surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, targeted therapy or immunotherapy. Many people get more than one type of treatment. Factors that may increase your risk of colon cancer include low fiber, high fat diet. Colon cancer and rectal cancer may be associated with the typical western diet, which is low in fiber and high in fat and calories. Older age. Colon cancer can be diagnosed at any age, but a majority of people with colon cancer are older than 50. A personal history of colorectal cancer or polyps. If you've already had colon cancer or non-cancerous colon polyps, you have a greater risk of colon cancer in the future. Inflammatory intestinal conditions. Chronic inflammatory diseases of the colon, such as ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, can increase your risk of colon cancer. Family history of colon cancer. You're more likely to develop colon cancer if you have a blood relative who has had the disease. If more than one family member has colon cancer or rectal cancer, your risk is even greater. Obesity. People who are obese have an increased risk of colon cancer and an increased risk of dying of colon cancer when compared with people considered normal weight. A sedentary lifestyle. People who are inactive are more likely to develop colon cancer. Getting regular physical activity may reduce your risk of colon cancer. Diabetes. People with diabetes or insulin resistance have an increased risk of colon cancer. You can take steps to reduce your risk of colon cancer by making changes in your everyday life. Eat a variety of fruits, vegetables and whole grains. Fruits, vegetables and whole grains contain vitamins, minerals, fiber and antioxidants, which may play a role in cancer prevention. Choose a variety of fruits and vegetables so that you get an array of vitamins and nutrients. Stop smoking. Talk to your doctor about ways to quit that may work for you. Exercise most days of the week. Try to get at least 30 minutes of exercise on most days. If you've been inactive, start slowly and build up gradually to 30 minutes. Also, talk to your doctor before starting any exercise program. Maintain a healthy weight. If you're at a healthy weight, work to maintain your weight by combining a healthy diet with daily exercise. If you need to lose weight, ask your doctor about your healthy ways to achieve your goal. Aim to lose weight slowly by increasing the amount of exercise you get and reducing the number of calories you eat. If you want to see more videos from us, hit the subscribe button and turn on notification so you never miss a new video.